Good morning, everyone. Oh, we can do better than that. Good morning, everyone. Lord, it is good to be here. My dear little ones, we gather around the altar of our God on this first full week of school as we celebrate this great solemnity of the Assumption of our Blessed Mother, the Queen of Heaven and Earth, Mary who has taken body and soul into heaven. And as we celebrate this great feast day, this great solemnity, my little ones, certainly we celebrate it when we're going back to school. And so like you, I think it's important for all of us to go back to school. So here's my backpack. I am going back to school. Now, if I am going back to school, and if I have my backpack, should there be certain things inside my backpack that would be useful? Should I come to school with an empty backpack? Would your teacher be happy if the backpack was just totally empty? All right. What is something that might need to be in the backpack? Just give me one example of something that might need to be in the backpack as we're going back to school. A math book. A math book would be important. Books. Pencils. Excellent. Let's see what we have in here. Do we have pencils? What else do we have? Let's say we're going to do some arts and crafts. What might you need? What might you need? Crayons. crayons, crayons. I got markers. <laughs> Even better than crayons. Crayons, you might also need, let's say you need to take the sheet of paper and you need to do something to get it in half. What do you have to use for that? You just rip it? No, what do you use? Scissors. All right, so you have scissors. And then if what, what do you need to do if you need to put them back together? Glue. glue. You got to have some glue. You got to have some glue. All of these are on our school supplies. The things that we need in order to be successful in the school day, in order to do our work, we have to pack all of these things with us and all sorts of other things that you may need to take in order to be ready for school, whether it's the first day of school, whether it's the last day of school, whether it's any time in between. But let me ask you this. What is the most important thing you need to pack? Think about all those things. What is the most important thing you need to pack? And don't tell me lunch. <laughs> what is the most important thing you need to pack in your backpack? A teacher gift, all right. A teacher gift is the most important thing. Our teachers are smiling, but it's actually not the most important thing. Love, you wanna pack love in your backpack, that's great. So you wanna have love, and love is bound up in what? What do we need to pack in our backpack? A Bible, a Bible is the word of God. We want the word of God. The Bible, love, all of that represents who? The Bible is the word of God, so all of that's representing who? Who do we need to pack? Not what do we need to pack, who do we need to pack? What did you say? Jesus! Because you see here in my backpack, I have Jesus. Now my little ones, What's important for us to remember is, is that while this is a physical statue of Jesus that I have in my backpack, all of us are called to pack Jesus every single day. We're called to pack Jesus every day of our life. We're called to put him not just in our backpack, but we're supposed to put the love and life and hope of Jesus where? In our heart, even more important than in our backpack. That every day when we get ready for school, every day if we're playing a sporting event, every day no matter what we're doing, whether it's classwork, I know you love homework, you always have to pack who? Jesus. And today we celebrate this great solemnity, the assumption of our blessed mother. And you know, Mary, 
Mary always packed Jesus. Because Mary always points to Jesus. Listen to the, did you hear in the gospel today, Mary went in haste to visit her cousin Elizabeth. And after that interaction with Elizabeth, Mary gives us her hymn of praise. We call it the Magnificat. And it begins with what? The words, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. Mary magnifies Jesus. Mary proclaims the greatness of God. And so, my little ones, as we begin this new school year, as we celebrate this great solemnity, the assumption of our Blessed Mother, we too need to be like Mary, because Mary is the perfect disciple. She is the model disciple, because she always points to Jesus. And we too are called to do the same, to be just like Mary, to be an icon of Jesus in our daily lives. And so, as we begin this new school year, as we celebrate this great feast of Our Lady, let us always remember, my little ones, that no matter what we pack, whether we're packing our crayons and our markers, our loose-leaf paper, whether we're packing our scissors or our glue, may we always remember that in our hearts, like Mary, we need to always pack... I don't, you don't sound too convinced to me. We need to always pack... Jesus. And in doing so, that is how we're able to be just like Mary, so that we can always point to Jesus. Because you know something that I've learned a long time ago about our Blessed Mother? Mary never points to herself. She always points to Jesus. And so too are we called to do the same. And so my little ones, as we begin this new school year on this great solemnity, let us remember that as we get our book bags ready every single morning, as we pack whatever we need from our books to our lunch to anything else, let us remember to always pack Jesus. And in doing so, then we can be like Mary, who is the perfect disciple. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.